Hey everybody, it's Joe Doom back for another video. Today, somebody sent me what's called a mystery box, and that's exactly what it is. I have no idea what's in this, and we're gonna find out together. So, here we go! Oh, cool! Let's see everything that's in here. First off, I'm not gonna show it to you right away. I'm not gonna show you the whole box, but this is... Family car decals, and they have, it says, build your whole family, and this is one of them, and then on the other side, it shows you all the different kinds that you can get, and you put this on your the back of your windshield, your rear windshield, so that way, when people drive behind you, you can see, like, oh, okay, this family has, like, you know, this many people and, you know, dogs and cats and la 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 la. So that's what these are. Next up is, looks like a notepad. But I have no idea what kind of notepad these are. Uh, here's the design. And it's either, it's either a C, it's either a C, a very creative type of T, or or a clamp or something. I, I don't know. It's probably a C. Or, there we go. <laughs> so, alright, notepads. I really hope that's what this is. So. We got cooldowns. Oh, it's a, a cooling necktie. See, here's what this is. And I believe you put this in water. Let's see here. Soak in water and it inflates with a cooling gel that stays cool for days. Oh, cool. I can I, I can feel the gel. And you can either wear it as a headband or a necktie. And it says soak in cold water for 10 to 15 minutes. Do not overhydrate. And then uh, re-soak or refrigerate to recool and reuse. Don't freeze it though. Oh, cool! One of my favorite dice games called Left, Right, Center. I don't know if any of you have ever played this game before, but it's awesome. And sometimes the rounds go really quickly. Sometimes they last a super long time. Um, what it is, is there's three die, and each person has a set amount of game currency, whether they use the, the game chips that are included, or they can use real money. I like to use poker chips. And what you do is if you have three or more uh, items of game currency, then you roll the three die at the same time. And if you only have two, you roll two die and one, you only one die. And each die has an L, an R, and a C, and three dots. If you roll the die and the die lands on a dot then you don't have to do anything you get to keep all your currency but if it rolls if a die rolls on an L you have to put one or the the uh, corresponding number of L's you have to put that many currency to the player to your left if you roll an R you do the same thing to your right and if you roll C you do the same thing and put it in the pot in the center and whoever's the last one with currency wins the game, and if you're playing with money, you win the money. Oh, ooh, playing cards. Let's see what this says. It's just a regular deck of playing cards, but there's something on the back. It looks like it was purchased February 1st, 2004. I think it says Ants Complete. So this may be a deck of cards that belonged to my grandparents, and specifically my grandmother, because that was her name. So if that's the case, oh my gosh, that would be amazing. Uh, so yeah, a deck of playing cards, and hopefully this is a deck of playing cards that has a lot of memories with it. Alright, we got some Beachy's Peppermint Gum. I've never heard of this brand before, but it's uh, candy-coated gum, two pieces, and I want to say... I'm just gonna open this one, because I'm really curious. Oh, it's, it's what I kind of thought it would be. They're like, um, 
chiclets. See, there you go. It's like a little chiclet. So I will be chewing on these later. Continuing down the uh, candy trail. The original lemon heads, and I love lemon heads. I used to eat these all the time. Some teachers, and when I was in a high school and elementary school, used to keep these, and they were my absolute favorites. All right, we got a guitar pick in a plastic bag. I don't know why it's in a plastic bag. Maybe to prevent it from possibly falling out of the box, or maybe it's a super valuable pick, but it's a, an Ernie Ball pick. And I remember my dad used to use picks like this all the time, so I don't know if this is one of his, or maybe one of my uncles, or maybe maybe even my grandfather's. I'm not sure. So, there it is. It's a pick. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I don't know any of the details about it, but it's awesome. Next up are something that I love, and they are, oh, they're on the other side. Candy cigarettes. <laughs> um, whoever sent this to me must have watched uh, my candy videos that I did with my cousin because I mentioned that I love candy cigarettes, but there weren't any in the box and I wanted to buy them for that video, but I forgot, and now I have some. Um, I'm just going to open up one real quick because I want to show you. Okay. Oh, I love that smell. Even though it's just a plain, sugary, powdery, chalky smell, I love it. And this is what they look like. They look like a candy stick. They used to have like a little red end, but I guess they stopped doing that for reasons that are unknown to me. Mmm. Mm. Brings back childhood memories. <laughs> I love them. All right, there's only one thing left in this box, so we can get rid of the box. Woo! <laughs> it's a wooden boot. <laughs> um, there's no description with it. Uh, I don't know if these are a thing or. I have a feeling that I know what this might be. My grandfather used to be um, very crafty and like to make a lot of things by hand. This, there is a very good possibility that this could be one of his. And if so, that is awesome. <laughs> and I don't know what kind of wood it is. It's very um, light. So maybe a what's what's that wood it's a um balsa wood or something i'm not sure i don't remember but this does look handmade and even carved with a knife if you can see, if you can see the detail of that you can kind of tell and that's on the inside maybe a little bit too dark but that's very awesome well, that does it for this video. I'm super stoked about this. I'm really happy with everything that I got. And thank you to whoever it was who sent this to me. You know who you are if you're watching this. So thank you again. Um, send me the details uh, sometime so I can get a better knowledge for some of the items I didn't know too much about. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this um, mystery box with me. And I'll see you next time.